So now let's dive into a very important question. How did they not get an indictment of Darren Wilson? Well, first, let's turn to former New York State Chief Judge Sol Wachtler, who famously remarked that a prosecutor could persuade a grand jury to, quote, indict a ham sandwich. That's a well-known uh, quote. I've heard it all over the place, especially in the wake of what's happened, of what happened yesterday with uh, Darren Wilson. So what's going on here? In fact, U.S. attorneys prosecuted 162,000 federal cases in 2010. Grand juries declined to return an indictment in 11 of them. 162,000 federal cases. 11 didn't get an indictment. This should have been a shoe-in. Now, some people will fire back and say, well, that's federal cases. We're talking about a state case here. It's different. Yes and no. I mean, yes, it's different in the sense that it's a state case. It's not a federal case. But no, in the sense that if you look at the ratio of indictments to non-indictments at the state level, it's very similar. It also is insanely uh, disproportional. So, is this just a coincidence and the prosecutor sucks. We know that the case doesn't suck. We know that there's a real legitimate question about what happened there, and there's plenty of evidence on the side of Mike Brown. So what happened here? Well, let's look a little deeper at Missouri law. Quote, Most states, including Missouri, allow prosecutors to bring charges via a preliminary hearing in front of a judge instead of through a grand jury indictment. That means many routine cases never go before a grand jury. So they didn't need a grand jury, but they used one anyway. Why? Andrew D. Leopold, a University of Illinois law professor, said, quote, If the prosecutor wants an indictment and doesn't get one, something has gone horribly wrong. It just doesn't happen. So a judge would have immediately given an indictment. A judge would have been like, yeah, of course. Indicted. Boom. Next. Now, are you ready for this? It keeps, it's going to get worse and worse. The standard for an indictment is probable cause. So what does that mean? It means that it's not guilty beyond a reasonable doubt to move forward. The bar is much lower. And all a prosecutor has to do to get an indictment is you go up there and you present cliff notes. You present this cliff notes version of your case and you know what you're supposed to do? You're supposed to omit the case of the defense. You just say, hey, here's the evidence that we have to prosecute. Uh, it's Cliff Notes version. Here, this is basically what we have. Can we move forward? And then the answer is almost always yes. The defense doesn't get a say in this. But you know what the prosecutor did in this case? The prosecutor laid out the defense's case for them. And then afterwards, this son of a bitch comes out and gives a speech where he's like, well, you know, what we did is we tried to be as fair as possible, and by that I mean we gave both sides of the story from the beginning and laid out everything. No, 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 but that means you're sabotaging the case. That doesn't mean you're helping the case out. And he knows this, he knows this, but he's reframing it as if to suggest, like, what, I did all that I could, but I couldn't get an indictment. Okay. Now it goes from bad to nefarious. The prosecutor threw the case. There's no doubt about it. Go talk to any legal uh, expert around. Any of them. Any of them. Look, I'm, uh, I have a political science degree, and a lot of people who uh, go, to, go get a degree in political science, after that they go to law school. So I was surrounded by, I had to take constitutional law classes and everything, so I know more about this than your average person. And speaking to people who know even more about this stuff than I do, they make perfectly clear. Like, no, 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 you don't get it. The case was, it was thrown, period. Like, it, we know it was thrown. You don't do what they did unless you wanted to throw the case. Why did they want to throw the case? Quote, CBS News reports, the Missouri prosecutor, Bob McCullough, overseeing an investigation into the fatal shooting of 18-year-old Michael Brown, has deep family roots among the police. His father, mother, brother, uncle, and cousin all worked for the St. Louis Police Department, and his father was killed while responding to a call involving a black suspect when he was 12 years old. 
could you have gotten a more biased prosecutor in the country? The guy, to this day, he has deep ties with the police department, and he has a track record of being overly kind to the police department. So he's in charge of a situation where he's supposed to go after a police officer? No, 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 no. This is all wrong, man. This is all wrong. This is, it's, it's a tragedy what happened. It, this is unacceptable. We have to, justice has to be blind. You can't have people with massive conflicts of interest involved with decision making here. I mean, this goes without saying, man. I should, it's fucking 2014. You guys couldn't piece this together. The system couldn't piece this together. What a sick joke this is. Now we don't even get a day in court because of this. Now, of course, later on there could be a, a civil case and there could be um, some sort of federal case but uh, and a civil rights case, but we don't get our day in court for the worst charges with the possible harshest punishments because the system is so wildly corrupt and backwards. The final thing I'll add here is that this happens all the time. It's not just everything I laid out for you here. It's also the case that when it comes to police officers, you almost never get an indictment. You almost never get an indictment and forget it. I mean, they hardly ever get found actually guilty of something, even if they do it. Because there's this mindset that people have, rightly or wrongly, you judge on your own whether or not you think this makes sense, where police officers get so much more leeway. Because people just assume, well, they have the badge and they have the uniform, they must be looking out for the good of everybody, so I mean, if something wrong happens on the job, you can't really blame them or you have to give them much more leeway than anybody else. Well, maybe there's a point to be had there in many cases, in many circumstances, and maybe that's a fair perspective to approach the situation with. However, sometimes that's not a good idea, that doesn't make sense, and you're just bending over backwards to try to protect somebody who committed a criminal action.